Aaron? No, Aaron's not there. Oh, take, yeah, you are there. Take okay. him to Doheny. Put him on that. Yeah, Doheny. I mean, he lives right next. He lives 20 oh, minutes yeah, from Mondo's. Mondo's. Like, it's the right perfect beach for him. Fuck. It's a total beginner beach. It's, it's like they call it Waikiki. That's West. where I went like, there. That's like, where I went. Yeah. 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 There's still Did you have anyone who knew how to surf with you? Yeah. Or were you just like, fuck it. No, I had a guy who was like, cool. And like other people were like, the fuck out of here. I was like, <laughs> this energy's not great. And he was like, ignore him. You just got to ignore him. Oh, Adventure. you know, we all know that there's new people there no one usually gets mad yeah. well these people are fucking dickheads really yeah that's weird that's really yeah, that's weird, weird for there well he he, they, he was like getting me on waves and stuff and this guy's like i had that wave like it was like that shit so I was yeah like, but that happens little waves. but it was so cold that i i like i couldn't feel my fingers so like i did yeah. something yeah because i was just trying and i was like oh my hands are not moving in a regular manner yeah they're just not like I'm not. I don't have the regular level of control over my hands. So. Yeah, but that honestly, guys cut me off all the time. But it's a beginner's beach. I know it's a beginner's beach. Yeah. So yeah. It's so you like, got to take that it as it is. Yeah. yeah. I definitely want to go back out. All right. Ready, Aaron? All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, and welcome to the pastimes. It's a podcast. Oh gosh, are we having fun? <laughs> <laughs> can't be I'm promoting our man. Australia tour that we will have already done by the time this comes out. Oh, so um, it's not a squirrel suit. <laughs> no, no, it's a kangaroo. He Oranga. Can't... Yeah, that's right. Oranga. Oranga in a kangaroo suit. And I got a joey. And a penis. Uh, I it's like a, a podcast. Louis, oh, yeah, you're going to love what I got. Um, uh, it's a podcast. Each week we go through a newspaper from a random date in history picked out by none other than Dave Anthony. I, Gareth Reynolds, have no idea. What the hell is inside it? And neither does this week's guest. He's a, a legendary musician. He's an author. He's a philanthropist. He's a surfer. And you know what else he is? He's patient with cats and a dynamite guy. And if we ever lost him, we'd find him with dynamite. The great Randy Bly joins us. Hello, Randy. Thank you. Well done on pronouncing the name correctly. It's always been how I say it. I know. Point me to evidence where I didn't say well, it. Well, you have... Right. Um... Pointless letters in your name. Yes. Yeah. See, you know how Dave is on pronunciations. He will attack right. and not respect. Well, I mean, I'm a prime example. It's it's yeah. I mean, it's it's a setup. His name's a setup. It's it a is. strange way to approach names and language, isn't it, Randy? For it, someone to think that it's a setup. Well, I mean, wouldn't it make you think that a man's father maybe instilled him with some weird fears and odd complexes? You're in His a dad? fucking kangaroo outfit that bro. you killed. I didn't kill his dad. His dad died of natural causes. Mm. Strangulation. All right. Um, <laughs> now, uh, Randy, promote. At this point, when this comes out, it'll probably be safe for you to fully promote your book. So why don't you tell us again about your your second? It's a, it's a nonfiction book. It's coming out book. with Hachette, uh, same editor. Uh, it's called Just Beyond the Light. And it's um, a book about different lessons I've tried to learn from different people. Um, Are we in of, it? Um, you'll be in the third one. Is that a problem? But people like my grandmother. Yeah. You know, okay. Who grew up in uh, an era we talked a little bit about last time I was here. The Roaring Twenties. The Depression. Oh, I forgot about that part. Yeah. The downside. I also have a, a book coming out called Just Beyond the Light that's about uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. J-Town. J-Town. Have you seen oh, this? Oh, J Town surfing. Fuck yeah. yeah. Dave, would you take that shirt? Lord off of J Town, where did you get that? Someone <laughs> made it and gave it to us. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luke out there, he will gladly make you whatever. Okay. Merch yeah, we you can want. make you one yeah. of these. Yeah. I, I, Do um, we know the guy who made this and gave us the. I don't. Did he, he didn't give us an email or anything, right? He just. I don't know. I have because I, no I like the. I like well, the, you he's must get a, on a skateboard, yeah, and sick. holding a, and holding the cross. Yes, he's you not. must get a lot of stuff from. Do you keep everything fans give you? No, <laughs> do you put it in like a room? <laughs> I, I I keep some things, yeah. because they're just so cool. Yeah, um, but some stuff you just go like. But oh, cool. there's just so much. Yeah, stuff, you get man. so much because you're also the lead singer of Lamb, Lamb of God. God, and you know I'm a photographer as well, so photographers. Um, love to give me prints uh -huh. that yeah. they have taken, and it's normally pictures of me. Mm -hmm. um, that gets and, weird. and they bring them to me on tour, and, and I appreciate the the sentiment, yeah. the thought, the effort they put to them. But they bringing me a oh big ones, yeah, you know, eighteen by what? Uh, how two by twenty print of myself, <laughs> yeah, which 
Uh, yeah. and how long? Yet another picture of me. How long were you <laughs> famous before you started going like, okay, I'm not going to start keeping stuff? I don't know if I'm famous yet or not. That's a crazy thing to say. Um, but you do know you're famous. It is subsect of of people. How often do you get recognized? Uh, pretty much every day. Without, okay, you're without famous. The, without the hair, though, they, did it change? Um, I mean, no, I got a little bit more, uh, I was able to move a little bit more low key for yeah. about a week. A week? Yeah. And yeah. then people are like, oh, you cut your hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah See, yeah, and yeah. I would argue that that is what we call fame. Uh, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I can go to Barnes and Noble without like people mobbing me or, yeah. or something. Right. A bookstore maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, I well, get recognized when I'm bottomless. All right, so, well, we're done with the intro, um, officially. Uh, well, Randy, thank you for joining us. You know the deal here. We're going to uh, go through a newspaper. Right. We don't know when it's from. Right. But we like to guess. And you know what? You've been so good to us. Mm. You've been so good to the people. Normally, I guess first. But please, you take the first stab. What year you think this paper I think from? we need to go further back this time. Okay, interesting. I think, uh, I think I've felt out uh, Dave's psychology and you think you know him and neurosis yeah well there's a lot though whoa i think we're he gonna, sucks you in to make you think you know him and that's when he strikes i think we're gonna go back to 1847 oh, wow went, that's yeah. cool. okay yeah. i like it i like it a lot yeah sorry i had to yell yeah, no, no, no 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 that's what you, no that's respect that's i'm respect. trying not to fanboy but no that's yeah. respect Listen. it's like when people come up and when me doing that i i just realize it's like when people come up to me in public and scream my lyrics in my face <laughs> and you're like I'm I, was, I'm I just to, did that to I'm Dave at Barnes Anthony. And Noble. Yeah, I just did that. To yeah, Dave. I just yeah. dolloped Dave. You Anthony. are on the podcast, so it'd be like if someone did it on stage. Which well, is, that's true. That's yeah. true. Okay. Oh, by the way, we I'm decided not as we now. decided recently that I'm going to be the Lamb of God dancer. Yes. <laughs> So I told I'm going to go on stage I told and I'll him be dancing night, with the band. Throw, he said he wanted to throw meat at the fans. <laughs> yeah. I told him he needed to get pumped up, get But tough. dance, too. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pitching a lot of dancing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no, you said there's a high bar. There is. Well, yeah, because yeah. you're pretty, you go for it I'm, a lot. Yeah, very physical. Yeah, very yeah. physical. A lot of jumping. But I'll, be able jumping. To, but I'll be able to show you what I, I can do. And you I got, think you'll be impressed. You gotta, I'm, I'm excited to see you. And I think you'll be impressed by this, too, because I'm going to guess that this paper is is f later than the last one. Right. And I'm going to guess 1960. Oof. I can't uh, really take you seriously because you don't have your paws on. Are you talking to Randy? Could we no, please you. put the paws on? Oh, I bet you there's a bunch of people out there who just hit the play pause button on the podcast. <laughs> now my paws are on. The gloves are off. The paws are on. And by the way, I don't think they did these the right way. I've no, seen many didn't. kangaroos they and I don't believe they have. Absolutely a, did not. They don't look them. razor sharp either. Well, don't test are, me. Are there? Don't test me. They're like this. Yeah. Yeah. They, they like, like to disembowel yeah. dogs. Oh, I love to disembowel yeah. dogs. The dog dies. I'm a big Christy Gnome guy. <laughs> love to disembowel the puppy. Um, it is September 7th, 1892. All right. <sighs> Randy still wins. Yeah. I'm in there. Yep. Garrett's a little just... bit further away than last time. I'm going to get you on one of those. I don't think Garrett has ever won. Uh, I've won many, many ever, times. Uh, not and you've once. you've ignored many of them. Uh, Minneapolis. Such bullshit. Minnesota, the Minneapolis Daily Times. All right. I'll be doing an accent for all of this, just so you okay, know. Okay. Uh, it's your zone. Yep. Oh, you betcha there, bud. Oh, dearie me. They brought some big news about us in the city today. I'll tell you that much. Boodle and blood. <laughs> Boodle and blood. They it's opened for you, didn't good. they? Yeah, <laughs> Boodle and blood. They, they, they did a whole tour with yeah. us. Eastern I'm Europe. Boodle yeah. and I'm Eastern blood. Europe. Yeah. <laughs> it's just two guys. Yeah. It's a Duo. German. Yeah. No, it's, it's like a lamb of God and blood. Boodle and blood. Yeah, okay, so tell me once again, Boodle, where did you go to? <laughs> when we went down to the shopping center to get the kibasa. <laughs> um. Figure conspicuously in the Garfield Park raids. What's happening? Yeah, naturally. Mm -hmm. Garfield hits uh, Mondays. A millionaire horseman wow. and two policemen killed and a question of veracity between the mayor and chief of police as to a big bribe. What's Truth? happening? Truth. A question of truth yeah. mm -hmm. in, in high-ranking public officials. Imagine. Hard to believe. And this is the 1800s. 
Ja, das also ist ja auch ein Bluthaft zu so sehr. Very strange, ist. that's why they came to Detective Agency Brutal and Blood. This is out of Chicago. Uh, changes everything. Uh, two dead men. Now they're Irish. Yeah. One of them a millionaire, another mortally wounded, and an oh, open... What a great way to describe it. I've been shot, and I have a lot of money. <laughs> And an open question as to whether Chicago's mayor or its chief of police is a willing perjurer are today's results of the attempt to close the Garfield Park racetrack. Wow. Mm. That's where they race cats. Yes. The dead men are James Brown of Fort Worth, oh, Texas. No. Ah, don't be oh, so good. They killed him. <laughs> now I'm in wood. Da, na, 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 na. Don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dead men are James Brown of Fort Worth, Texas, a prominent turf man shot through the right breast and lower portion of the face. He's a real weird. turf man. No, Everything he's, yeah, he's, he's below the turf. Yeah. Super turf. Yeah, what is a turf yeah. man? I don't know. That do they do is, lawns? I think they take care of uh, like roll sporting out, stadiums. Roll out That's turf? what I would think, yeah. Yeah, he might take care of the. Uh, That's a racetrack. Of the racetrack. Is that really what? Yeah, okay. Or yeah, they were might. trying to close it. So he was like, nope. Yeah, right. He, he, he though he might just be like a racetrack rock guy, like a a turf man. That's what they call be, it. Yeah. Or he's territorial. Oh, he could be territorial. Right. I like that. Really yeah. good, last minute throw in. You know, you gotta you you find it. Are you each episode? Are you, you a find professional? It. At I mean, this? is is your question? Am I in the podcasting hall of fame? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm in Foff. <laughs> John. <laughs> John Powell, police officer, shot through the mouth. Shot, yeah. Shot through the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to get shot through something, uh, the, yeah, mouth, uh, mouth the mouth. Mouth is bad. Oh, oh, yeah. I get it. Yeah, right. It can go right through. Yeah. There's no I, other part of the body that the butthole. <laughs> so, stop talking. In the butthole. And start reading. The butthole. No, stop saying, I just want that to be on Consider now. the butthole. If it Don't went, TED talk. If it went through the, straight through the anus. So what, if you're like a, a cartoon swish, doctor? If it made a swish, it would still. What's happening it, The front it would come out would be really You don't know bad. how the human body works. And that's really coming bad. from me. If it went through the butthole and came out the front, it would be bad. Now, sideways through the cheeks. I think it'd be fine. Might miss a tooth or two after you're done. But, yeah, no. Are you the guy who Clear was pass. just coming at me? Yeah, but You're the I, guy who keeps uh, starting every sentence with the butthole? But again, I who did Who wouldn't, my... though? No, no. If you no, had no, the opportunity, no, 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 consider no. the butthole. Yeah, consider the butthole. That's actually the name of my book. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the cover. The Will butthole. you shoot the cover art? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Dave peeking up over an anus. Yeah. Just like... <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And our With next, a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I was on, I was on Kimmel. Our next guest, Dave Anthony, author of Consider the Butthole. We're not sure how this guy ended up getting here. I'm reading a cue card. What the hell does it say? <laughs> uh, Harry McDowell, a police officer, was shot in the abdomen, probably mortally wounded. Mm. Mm. It does not pass through. No, yeah, no, so easily. Out. No, that's no. a bad place to get. Very shot. painful. Yeah. Both the officers fell before Brown's revolver, one being instantly killed, the other dying before he could be removed from the grounds. So that the guy who got shot in the mouth is dead. It sounds like it. Yeah, you got like that's what I was picturing. You, Tender you guys are like it's going through the cheek. I'm picturing that's just a headshot. It sounds like they didn't update the story from the last sentence. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I already printed that one. It's, it's down. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do? Delete it? <laughs> 1850. Who killed Brown is not known. Nobody actually saw the killing of Powell and McDowell, and when Brown was slain, a dozen officers were firing at him, including McDowell, who, notwithstanding the fact that his life was ebbing fast, raised himself up on his elbow and fired repeatedly at the man who had laid him low. On his what? Elbow. On his elbow. So he's la oh, he got shot. He's elbow. laying down, he propped himself like a uh -huh. movie, propped yeah, himself yeah. up and popped a couple yeah. off. And then died. Yeah. I'm a turfman. Yeah. yeah. We don't go down without a fight. I, I he's he's on his elbow. He's yeah. got his gun up and then. Yeah, okay. And then he perishes. He shot me yeah, through the shit. cheeks, yeah. goddammit. And then a horse. Just, me through the cheeks. And then a horse just ran over. Oh. Um, it was shortly after three o'clock when the police commanded by Inspector Lewis appeared at the gates to make the third raid upon the park. Wow. 
that's a lot of yeah it's a lot of they rating. really want to shut this fucking racetrack yeah. down yeah. But how do you like Pourquoi? How do you like do an know. underground racetrack like? Yeah, yeah. it's massive the, yeah. horse racing. It sounds like you got horses in there, boys. <laughs> <laughs> nope, <laughs> not just a bunch of uh, Dutch dancers, sir. I promise. Uh, there was no delay in gaining admittance, and seven wagon loads of officers rolled S- rapidly down the track toward the grandstand. A panic seized the people in the grandstand at the sight of the blue coats, and men and women made wild breaks for liberty. Oh, so this is like illegal gambling. Yeah, yeah. this is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, panic seized the people in. Oh, I said what that. balls it takes to set up a, a racetrack? It's awesome. And be like, I'm gonna have fucking racing. Yeah, and betting. Like, and there's so nobody's much work gonna that know. goes into it. I mean, so it must. Don't have been. tell anyone you were here. Everyone who's here. <laughs> it must have been legal, and then they made it illegal, right? But then the horse people are all just like, "We're going to still do it. Yeah, we're doing this. Right? We're brutal and blood. God damn it! We're but how do you how blood. do you think you're going to get away with it? Like, I don't the know. Cops. Money talks. Bullshit walks. Have we heard who brutal and blood? Brutal and blood are the guys who were shot. Oh, I don't know. I think. Okay. Uh, the police paid no attention to the fleeing spectators, but quickly surrounded the betting ring. And the judges stand. All the officials of the track who could be found were quickly placed under arrest, and a detachment of officers was then sent to the stables to gather in the grooms and the jockeys. The That's right. We're doing? arresting the horses and the men who rode them. <laughs> we need a weird set of handcuffs for this one. We want the jo- get the jockeys, the, jo- the grooms, the brides can go. Get the grooms, the jockeys. Uh, Very man. small handcuffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a tiny cell. Bring the mini paddy wagon out. All right, words. look, uh, we can stack them too high. <laughs> uh, attention was then turned to the people who scattered over the grounds singly. Kill them! Uh, <laughs> yes. And in now! Num- <laughs> and in numerous squ- squads were making their way toward the exit. Only <laughs> one man who was too fat to run was captured. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, you know what? Uh, it's just, just they just walked up to buy him. <laughs> uh, uh, I need a minute to flee. <laughs> May I have a moment before I take off, officer? That's such a. That is like a. That is one of those you would just never see that in a paper today, even no, if that was true. No. Too fat to Too flee. Too fat to flee. I give up. That's his book title. <laughs> Too fat to flee. <laughs> well, I would have run 70 years ago. Fun fact, I years was running. 90 pounds ago. <laughs> I was running when they caught me. Uh, as the officers approached Jam Brown, the wealthy turf man, owner of Bobby Beach, C.W. Johnson, and the sensational two-year-old. Okay, so he's a horse owner. Oh, okay, the sensational uh, two-year-old. It threw me. I was like, whoa. Threw me for a fucking real loop there, because the I wasn't thinking horse. It's a, no, it's, a chi- it's a sensational child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sit down. Three card Monty's the game. You've heard of the terrible twos. We have a sensational two. <laughs> a sensational two-year-old. Uh, and other first-class horses was standing upon the roof of one of the stables watching the policeman pursue people. Oh, wow. With him stood Bob Rice, another well-known racing man. Bobby Rice. Mm-hmm. Brown had repeatedly said during the former raids Brown on the Rice. park. Brown Rice. Brown <laughs> Rice. Uh, yeah. Nicely done, Brown Rice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, you want to hold hands? No. <laughs> Brown had repeatedly said during the former raids on the park that he would allow no man to arrest him as long as he had not violated the law. Okay. Mm, he doesn't know how police work. No, yeah, I, just, I don't think that's his decision. <laughs> he doesn't, to be he doesn't know how police work yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, and if a policeman attempted it, he would kill or be killed before he was dragged to the police. He, he knows how it works. I guess he. Yeah, he does he, know how it works. I, I guess he did his thing too. Uh, Powell and McDowell approached the shed, and the former hailed Brown pleasantly, who asked him to come down. What for, sir. said Brown. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir. May we arrest you, please? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suit. I got a whole thing where I said I wouldn't be arrested uh, and I'd kill or be uh, killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. whole place is illegal, sir. <laughs> Let's try it again. Pretty please. Will you... Pretty please? <laughs> no, it's not good. I'm going to have to start killing people. <laughs> Uh, what force? I'm Brown- trying to get out of here as fast as I can. <laughs> that guy. 
Hey, I got it. Why did we all chase the fat guy? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I've been caught. <laughs> Uh, what hey. for, said Brown, so that I can arrest you, replied Powell. I'll not come down and I'll not be arrested, said Brown curtly, at the same time tossing a few pebbles from the stable's gravel roof upon Powell's head. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Small rocks. It's so, so demeaning. <laughs> uh, oh, those, those actually hurt a little bit. <laughs> Blink. Yeah. Uh, come and get me. Blink. <laughs> The officer then ara- uh, ran around to the rear of the barn and placing a board against the wall, quickly clambered up to the roof and advanced towards Brown. Oh, shit. Oh, Brown's not going to like it. It's like that. the end of John Wick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, officer McDowell had by this time passed on and Brown. What? Passed on? Does that mean McDowell's dead? Dead, it means yeah. dead. But who shot him? Probably Brown. No, but Brown hasn't been shooting. Maybe the yet. pebbles were really uh, hard. Yeah. Yeah. He's pebbles. like flicking. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> death and, by pebble. Yeah. And Brown sprang to the ground and walked rapidly toward a gate opening from the grounds upon 14th Street. So he jumped off the, roof. the shed roof. So this is like a Spider-Man type yeah. guy. Yeah. Parkour. Powell yeah. fall. Yeah. Peter Parkour. Yeah. Peter Parkour. Powell followed closely after him, and Brown began to run, paying no attention to the repeated calls of Powell that unless he halted, he would be fired upon. Brown <laughs> ran into the fat guy. Yeah, take me with you. <laughs> hey, may, drag me, please. <sighs> As no attention was paid to him, Powell drew his revolver and sent a bullet whizzing through the air just over Brown's head. That was enough. Brown instantly wheeled around. His revolver flashed in the sunlight, and he fired, and Powell fell forward on his face. Well, shit. Damn. Dead. He's not messing around. No. Starts with pebbles. Uh, Come on, Chubby. We're out of here. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> he came down as though struck by a thunderbolt or bullet. I mean, yeah, also why? A bullet. It, exactly. <laughs> truly. It was like lightning hit him. Yeah, you know, he was shot. In the face. Yeah, that's... All of a sudden, he stopped. We're not sure why just Blood yet. Blood began spurting from his head. Yeah, like thunder. As if Thor himself had struck the hammer. Like thunder had hit his forehead. Blood <laughs> deluged from the man. Uh, and not a movement of the limbs showed that he had known what had happened to him. He didn't do He wasn't doing like... Yeah. The questioning, like... Whoa, uh, he fell pretty weirdly, <laughs> like something changed. Without placing his revolver in his pocket, Brown fled rapidly along 14th Street. McDowell, hearing the shot, okay, I don't know what it meant. So McDowell passed on, didn't mean he died. He must have run past or something. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, McDowell, hearing the shot, had run out of the gate and seeing the form of his companion lying prostrate in the dusty street and the form of Brown going rapidly up the street, He'd once started in pursuit. He was a strong, athletic fellow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <sighs> Look at him go. Oh, he's not like that fat guy at all. I can hear you. <laughs> we can still hear. Um, and he gained upon Brown in a way that convinced the fugitive that if he continued in the open street, it meant his capture or a fight for his life. He darted into a yard and thence around the side of an unfinished house. McDowell was but a few seconds behind him, and this instead of... This is so of, well written. It is so well written. It is actually... Trance, yeah, you are actually... Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, on yeah, the right. edge of my seat. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, yeah, back then with the paper, you're like, like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is, is an unbelievable This is the read. top story yeah, of the yeah. year. Oh, this yeah. is like Pulitzer Prize winning Fuck. report. So he started around the side. Uh, McDowell was but a few seconds behind him, and instead of following Brown, he turned around the house in the opposite direction, and the two men came face to face in a narrow passageway between the house and a high board fence. McDowell made no effort to shoot. Brown but grasped him fiercely by the throat and ejaculated. <laughs> and wait, wait, what? It's an and ejaculated? It's ejaculated. It's, things just got real weird. Real oh, <laughs> oh, this is what I've always wanted. What? What a, that's, what a, why, what a, that's why Brown was not going to be carried, taken alive. By, I mean, you will not oh, jack off on me. Great, it's a great move. I should have paid you. The cops are, cops are not shooting you. They're just jerking off on you these days. <laughs> I'm going to shut down this racetrack. I'm not going to lie. That was the last thing I expected. <laughs> now I came on you. And 
<laughs> he grasped him fiercely by the throat and ejaculated, Stop I've got it. you! I've got you now! So it means he said it. He, he ejaculated. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I've got you now! No. Oh. And then he slept and hugged him. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. He bore his Let's man. Let's make some popcorn and this I'll is, nap. This is the most sexual thing. He bore his man back against the fence. There you go. You want another round? <laughs> Exceedingly. <laughs> this guy knows what really he's writing. This is a definitely homoerotic. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Um, it's like a penthouse forum <laughs> column. <laughs> they're, they're slipping into the regular paper. At the same time, trying to hold Brown's arms so that he could not raise the revolver, which he still held in his hand. Yeah, don't don't shoot. Oh, I shot. <laughs> I shot. <laughs> Brown struggled desperately, but he was in the hands of a man who was more than his match, and he could not break away. He then endeavored to raise his revolver, but the strength of McDowell frustrated his efforts. He then pushed the weapon against the body of the officer and fired. Shit. With a cry of pain, McDowell fell back, clasping his hands over his ah! abdomen, through which Brown's bullet had bored a ghastly hole. By this time, a dozen officers were close at hand, and as Brown paid no attention to their demands to surrender, several of them opened fire upon him. McDowell, who had uh, managed, oh, McDowell, who had been writhing upon the ground, managed to raise himself up on the elbow. On one elbow. <laughs> And with a determination to even up matters with the man who shot him, open fire from his revolver. Brown could not escape. He was surrounded on all sides. And before he could raise his revolver to protect himself, a bullet crashed through his right lung and another tore away the jaw and the lower part of his face. Jesus Christ. Man. But I think that I think the raising yourself up on the elbow is bullshit. I do to too. make the cops look good. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I think it's like some sort of like last stand. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. I jerked off yeah. on him. He shot me. Now I gotta yeah. kill him. No, he was on the ground. Just oh, there's a hole in me, and that guy came on me. Yeah. Like, the, <laughs> the word. It, this article was incredible, but he wrote ejaculated, and it just ruined everything. It really did. He took. I mean, it's, I it's still it, really it well written. It made everything. Yeah. yeah, true. That's a fair point. For me, it took me out of it a little bit. <laughs> if I ever get Why? shot, he jizzed. If I ever get shot, <laughs> yeah. No matter what happens, I'm gonna raise myself up on one elbow. Yep. I think I'm gonna and jack I'm gonna off. Think about this moment. I think I like the move. Here. Oh, yeah. that's first of all, that's a lovely, very, very nice of you. Lovely, lovely yeah, you're gonna think about this guy in a kangaroo outfit. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah you and you are. with the J Town suit. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah. that makes on sense. On my elbow. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it would be great if you were if you were shot for your last act to be just taking you're like trying to whack off like have some respect for yourself. I'm like, gonna get ah! I'm getting one last one out. All right. But let's just shoot one off real quick. Get him from my elbow. <laughs> that hurts so much. Oh, it's not a very big load. One second. I jerked off earlier. I should point that. Just die. <laughs> I should point out I jerked off earlier before we came out. That's why it's tiny. Take a little time. Take a little, Give me a minute. A minute. Give, give me some of that water. Let me douse it. Um, this last ball had struck him almost exactly in the same spot as he had shot Powell. He fell to the ground and turned half over in a weak attempt to rise again, but he had, to his elbow. Yeah, <laughs> but he had not the strength. And as the officers came running down the narrow passway, he tried once more to rise, but it was only a convulsive movement of the limbs. And an instant later, he was dead. What from what? Uh, uh, what tuberculosis. Mm. Thunderbolt. Consumption. Yeah. Like Thunderbolt. a Thunderbolt. Yeah. Uh, okay, so taking in the morgue, blah, blah, blah. James Brown was a man with a record. Yeah, and yeah. many <laughs> records. Many, many hit records. I can sing many of them. Great ones. <laughs> and if McDowell dies, he will be the 14th man who has gone down before his revolver. I guess. Ever? 14th? Oh, maybe before cop. The, maybe cop. Before. Uh, 14th cop. Oh, uh, Okay. Brown was born 52 years ago in Kansas, but moved to Texas while a boy. And then it goes up here to the... Has since then made his home in that state. He was for 10 years the sheriff of Lee County. Wow. And it is said that all the killing he ever did was in an official capacity. 
I like that. Yeah. yeah. I've only killed for work. <laughs> only efficient. <laughs> only efficient. It's just, just business, kidding. gentlemen. Off just the record. Skillets. We're going to go off the record yeah. now, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a couple off, of times on the weekend I killed for pleasure. Off the record, I got a few more bodies on but, this. Yeah. Here. I shot a dog and a goat in a gravel pit. <laughs> <laughs> He has been interested in the running uh, turf for the last 25 years and was generally regarded as a square man. He had amassed a fortune on the turf and his estate is estimated at over $1 million. Oh, shit. He's a, the turf man is a good profitable, pays well, man. Yeah. It's interesting, yeah. So, I, I mean, he just didn't want to be arrested for being at the racetrack? No. He's not well, having it. I mean, he really was. He's yeah. from Texas. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's probably going to be a Texas? hefty fine, yeah. They don't enjoy being told what to do down no, there. No, they don't, no. No, they definitely don't. Even when it don't make sense. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. <laughs> Trying to help you. <laughs> and my freedom. Uh, the ch- Chief McClonaghy said of the tragedy that it confirmed his determination to close the park. Look, no shit. Well, what are we talking about? <laughs> what what is he gonna do? About it? All right, it can stay open. You try to close a park, they kill you. Yeah, it means we need to close that damn. Park we got to get that fat man out of here yeah. somehow. Far from making me change my mind, it confirms my decision. If police <laughs> officers cannot enter the park in the discharge of their duty without being killed, it is time the park was closed. I mean, that is such a funny <laughs> thing for them. Like, People want to watch races, <laughs> such gamble. A, such we a, don't like that. <laughs> imagine Send in the cops, you die. <laughs> imagine that in a paper today. Like, Well, the fact that they've killed all these officers confirms that we are actually going to have to shut yes, it down. This, <laughs> this is the right It's dangerous move. for the police, so we're making the move. <laughs> Wow, that was really crazy. That, that I think is our longest opening article. It yeah, was, really, was really long. I've listened to a lot of these, and that was actually yeah, edge of the seat. Yeah, well, yeah. And you're an author two times. A thriller, yeah. We usually you start reading a long article on here, and then you you, you stop because it's like okay, it's getting really yeah. bad. like what's happening yeah, right it's now. Not, but this was really well written, yeah. except for the ejaculation. That's the best part. part. <laughs> uh, this has a bunch of headlines. Uh, oh, one by Dixon. The black man made a monkey whoa, whoa, of whoa, Skelly. Whoa, 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 whoa. In eight rounds, the Brooklyn lad was clearly outclassed. Terrific punishment <laughs> inflicted upon Skelly while Dixon was untouched. Oh, boxing. Yeah. yeah. The second of the Olympic Club's pugilist, pugilistic events, a hard fought battle. So. The white guy got beaten up by the black the black guy. That's what they're saying. Okay, yes. right. And what year was this again? Eight, 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 uh, Man, that must have been hard for them to take. Eighteen, right there. 18 and ninety two. Oh yeah. Oh, very upsetting. When oh a, yeah. A black and guy and a where white was guy. that? This is in uh, New Orleans. Ooh. Oh, they must have been furious. Yeah. Well, I think the, the the culture down there is a little bit more intermingled. Yeah. Still, I think the whites. Yeah, it, it, wasn't it, well. it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Yeah, the whites. Well, the whites, that's what I have to say. (laughs) Well, the whites. The wonderful whites. That's my book. The fight tonight in the Olympic Club Arena, the second of the high-priced attractions, provided for public entertainment and test the endurance of this class in fistic firmament. (laughs) Fistic Fistic firmament. Oh, man. uh, Yeah, go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Whenever you're ready. That gives me ideas. Uh, (laughs) Time to partake partake of the fistic firmament Uh, a little bit. It sounds uh, vaguely religious and pornographic yeah, does, at the yeah, same time. Yeah, well, I like religion. With a contest between black and white in which public sentiment nearly all in favor of the Caucasian and surprise, the pu- surprise. <laughs> I wonder why. You're in the deep south. <laughs> and the public betting nearly all on the side of the African. That is so. <laughs> That really we is... know what we want, yeah, but we, but we know, know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to root for the white guy, but fuck that if I'm going to put money on him. And all, and all the pictures there are of the white guy, and they're fucking hilarious. That's the black guy. Oh. Are you... That's beyond colorblind, Gareth. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see him. I, can't, I got kangaroo eyes. I uh, don't see color. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to. Um, uh, Both men stood high in their class, and yet each was a representative of a class. Dixon had, up to this evening, fought innumerable series of winning mills in professional ranks, while his worthy opponent had equally as spotless a record in the amateur contest. 
One had experience, cleverness, and gameness. The other was known and highly rated for skill, dog determination, do to do or die. Wow. Uh, and then it continues on. Uh, the weather was warm. What a weird... In New Orleans. In New Orleans, yeah. What a weird... They like to throw in the weather a lot. It's a nice day. But the, the throng was like all good-natured crowds that gather here, as it was different different in one respect. Ordinarily, there's not a black face to be seen in the arena. <laughs> there you go. It was like all normal, happy. Just a normal. Normally, oh, yeah. Just matter of no fact. Black people. Yep. Just... In New Orleans, too. Well, also, I mean, that the the black fighter must have been like, Jesus Christ. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, as he's fucking wailing no, on this white guy. I mean, he's if saying you're... That... If are, are, are they saying that there were Quinn, there were black people? Yeah, there were. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, yeah, yeah. There's right. black people in the audience. Right. Which, yeah, which never happens. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I, if you're a black fighter at this time, you're like, do I want to win? Yeah. Right. Like, like, yeah this winning be... is losing too. <laughs> yeah. This this could be a little dangerous. Yeah. Well, the, the white guy is just. I don't know what's going on. He's stronger than I thought. <laughs> There was a crowd of them tonight in the gallery. One of the stars tonight was a black man and the club acceding to the natural desire on the part of the uh, black element to witness the engagement set aside a space for them. Okay, so they gave him a place to go. Yeah, sure. We could sure have said that a lot. Probably a lot not the best seat. I'm sure they were yeah, very no, comfortable. No, no, not at all. Uh, the uh, black uh, brothers did not come in large numbers, but uh, he took. He took, can you imagine? He took, yeah, like Shocking. we're gonna go see our our homie maybe beat up a white dude. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. take a pass. Do you want to go? No, I'll probably stay here. But he's good luck. Pro- and I, great meeting I've you. I've looked at them. I think he's gonna beat the shit out of that <laughs> well, white now dude. Now I'm actually. So you want to come with me? Oh, Is there a runaway section where you can <laughs> just quickly Leave. run the back the back yeah, wall there's, drops there's and you can run trap exit, door deal emergency exit? Yeah. Huh. Um, <laughs> the second he's on the ropes, like, ah, I'd be like, we should get the fuck out of here. Bro. So, Howdy. let's see. Uh, they took a deep interest in what went on and felt a pardonable pride in the representative of pardonable, the race. Bo- pardonable pride. There's a lot pardonable, pardonable pride. Pardonable pride. <laughs> what a way to put it. What, yeah. Like, oh. You're allowed to have a little pride. Uh, I apologize. You're allowed to have a little pride this time. We'll let it slide this time. Chief of Police Gaster sent a squad of policemen to keep the black contingent in order. That's not who has to be. That is not who has to be worried here. Of course. Now watch it now. Uh, Don't cheer too hard. Uh, Don't get too excited for your boy. But be careful. You might get racist. (laughs) Treat the white people with some respect. We've been through enough in this country. (laughs) How dare you? But he did not have much to trouble himself with, for the crowd was Was terrified. Orderly, (laughs) yeah. As orderly as that. Very quietly watching. Hit him. Hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit him. Uh, Tonight, the same excellent police... Discipline was preserved as here to for and New Orleans Mid-Fort. generally does have excellent police discipline. That's true, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's you and the crowd was handled with the greatest of ease. I believe it continues in the next one. Yeah, you're trying to wonder what like th- would make the crowd more riotous. Would it be the white guy winning or the white guy losing? It would be it would the, on... the white guy losing and the black audience cheering Cheer. yes. easily. Yes. yes, that would be it. Right. If the white but, but guy, saying... if the white guy loses and the black audience doesn't do anything, then it's okay. I think it's acceptable. Yeah. Okay. Because remember, they've all bet on the black guy. And yeah. I, right. I, right. There's that money. Right. Yeah. Money's money. 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 Big important component yeah. in this country. I think that's probably exactly what happened. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they were quietly like, yeah, they were quietly oh, like, no. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's, I'll buy us a lot of beer after this. Uh. <laughs> the knockout blow was a pile Ooh. driver stroke plumb before the neck. There was some. <laughs> you in the neck, son. Yeah, neck blow. I knocked you out by hitting you in the neck. Oh, brutal. Uh. Just right in the cutter. Right I would watch more boxing if there was just, if you were <laughs> trying neck. to hit the neck, neck more neck, than neck anything. Hit. He's really working the neck tonight, Ted. He uh, can't breathe. He crushed his esophagus. Anderson's neck is really swollen. <laughs> he looks like a python swallowing an egg. 
There was some difficulty in detecting just which of half a dozen blows which Dixon slatter on the face he and neck of so the Brooklyn lad. Times. I don't know which one killed the white man, <laughs> but it was in the last dozen. <laughs> Uh, was the one that put Skelly to sleep. So rapid and merciless was the rain of blows that it may be said a bunch of punches knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can't figure out which one. <laughs> uh, about 12 times in three uh, seconds. We're not, we're not sure. There's no replay. He was dead at one point, and then he kept going, and then he was down. Blood was dripping from two breaks on his face down upon his breast. Dixon's bronze skin was dyed red from his opponent's blood. Oh, my God. Skelly's eyes rolled wildly and his lids shut and he reeled to the earth. One, two, they, three, shouted the referee, counting the seconds. They really made the beginning it sound like it was a much closer contest. Like, they were like, both fighters brought a lot to the table. Yeah. But at the end, they're like, but only one man could be covered in the other one's blood. The, the other man got fist fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fist fucked his face. This was truly a fist. <laughs> the fisting firmament. The firmament of fisting. At the count of three, Skelly lurched forward upon one knee at the same moment, lifting one arm above his head. He's in it, yelled the crowd, but the crowd was wrong. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> The blood-covered boy who had forfeited his amateurship for this reeled as he tried to force the other knee to act, tottered a Fuck. moment, and pitched headlong to the earth. I mean, mm. one the one knee trying to get up yeah, with your one hand in the air. Uh, like, bro, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just trying. I only got punched 40 times. <laughs> My neck, my neck's seen better days. The the gloves were probably not the highest. Oh quality, yeah, no. yeah, oh yeah, no. yeah. No, they were leather. Like, yeah, bad stitching. It's probably cotton. worse for you. Yeah. yeah. So on to ten went the count of the referee, but the prostrate youngster had not moved when a thunderous shout went out into the night air. He's dead. Knocked out! Yelled the crowd. And none louder than the 200 black folks in the gallery assigned oh. to them. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh. Dixon had stood with his right arm drawn, ready to bring down the prostrate fellow should he succeed in standing up. So he's just waiting. He's there. just waiting. Oh, Don't please, get up. Please. Don't get up. At the count of 10, however, he dropped his guard. And when Skelly had been bodily lifted to his chair... He went to Skelly's corner and offered to shake hands. Skelly did not see Dixon's offer, and the latter picked up Shelly's hand with his glove and shook it. Oh, that's the formality. So requires. he's like dead. He's, he's out. He's, he's done. Just, he picked up his hand Come and shook it. <laughs> uh, Dixon then turned and tripped over to his corner, where he was joyously received by his trainers and backers. The Boston youngster had maintained the. Uh, Bantam Championship won a purse of seventy five hundred and a side bet of five thousand. Wow, he oh, made a shit. lot of fucking money. So well, he was from Boston. Yeah. So that's it, insult to injury. Yes, it is. Yeah, right. A yeah. Yankee, Yankee uh, a black Yankee yeah. comes down and whoops your oh my fucking God, ass. A fucking Beats blankie kick your ass. A blankie. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> The young Brooklyn young uh, amateur fought a game battle, and that is all uh, can be said to <laughs> He had done. The funeral will be Sunday. <laughs> well, you tried. Yeah. Please send flowers. Yeah. <laughs> he showed fight while Strank was uh, with him and only gave up when nature He was out. fighting until he got his face <laughs> fucked up. He did really well until he was murdered <laughs> from gloves. <laughs> until his teeth were laying all over the match. I'll great. tell you, he was the before best they, fighter before the match. Before they rang the bell, it was amazing. Before they rang the bell, <laughs> that kid had good. a hell of a match. He's uh, a hell of a kid. The Boston Bantam's generalship was much admired, and his strength and hitting ability were considered something wonderful. At the end of the battle, a challenge from Charlie Mitchell to the winner of the Sullivan Corbett contest was read and heartily laughed at. <laughs> what wow. is that? That's just a different fight. Like he, so he challenged someone, and everyone's like, ah, good yeah. luck. <laughs> uh, nearly every other fighter at the ringside wanted to fight somebody, and police captain Barrett ordered all the challengers out. <laughs> wow. Ooh. So they were ready to fucking keep going. Yeah, they wanted well, to fight. Well, that's, that's great. Especially the five thousand dollar bet. Yeah, you like to see that. Yeah, that's great. That's um, I mean, he made a lot of fucking money. Yeah, fuck mm -hmm. yeah. 
I mean, you're talking twelve thousand five hundred dollars back then. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like fourteen thousand dollars. But <laughs> as someone in the entertainment <laughs> business, here we go. We got to think about manager. Yeah, we think about here we go. Booking agent. That's right. We got to wow. think about the local venue. That's right. It's true. Travel. I don't think they had merch then. Might yeah. have been selling merch. Oh but, God, wouldn't it be amazing if they had merch? I I told you I'd knock that asshole yeah. out. Fumigated at Chicago. F- fumigated. Mm-hmm. Two carloads of immigrants held oh, open to dis- disinfected. Disinfect- what? It's fine. Jesus it's going Christ. normal. It's Come normal, on. you guys. No, this is not good. Two it? carloads of immigrants from New York over the Pennsylvania immigrants Road. From New York. They're from New York. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I like that a lot more. Yo, the big city. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. Gas them, boys. <laughs> yeah, de-stink them. Uh, we're halted 20 miles from the city today, and both cars and passengers thoroughly fumigated before being allowed to proceed. Boy, Holy oh boy. shit. Boy, so, th- so these are uh, people from New York, but were immigrants. Yes. So they landed at like Ellis Island or whatever, and then they came over, and then they came to Chicago. No, no, they could have just been living in New York. And so this been might have just been regular, like Brooklyn. No, they may have been immigrants living right. in New York. So didn't, it's, it's, right, but it didn't matter, Chicago. Yes. Yeah. You know, immigrants will re stink <laughs> even after acclimation. Uh, the immigrants were in good condition and had. Oh been my <laughs> God, like they're Pontiacs. And, <laughs> and what the fuck? Good interior on some of them. Wait. Better fumigate them just in case. <laughs> and had been fumigated in New York, but additional precautions were deemed necessary. What the fuck? Oh my God. Send us you're hungry. They were going to Chicago. Uh, to Chicago. <laughs> Known for its delicious smells. Somewhere in Ohio. Oh. We uh. think they may have picked up some <laughs> bugs. <laughs> you better spray these boys down Fucking one more time. A. Here's what it is. No. A close watch is being kept on Grand Trunk trains for immigrants who are supposed to have escaped the Sarnia quarantine. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I don't know what Sarnia is. It's, well, I think it's in Germany. It's Sarnia sounds like... like Narnia, uh, but... Yeah, like Narnia, Narnia but... Uh, 200 persons from the infected... That makes it a little... That I feel better. Do you? I mean, a little bit. That they're like... I'm sure that they were like inventing a lot of this. I mean, I never heard of Sarnia before, so they were probably like, yeah, it's called Sarnia. Sarnia, she? Yeah, Sarnia, yeah. I mean, a lot's changed in that area, like, as far as what country is what uh, since then. But Sarnia, oh, this is Canada. That can't be right. I See, I'm pro spraying Canadians. I think we Canadians. should fumigate Canadians I'm now. So, That's pro. You said that, and I'm like, I'm let's pro. spray those motherfuckers <laughs> yeah. down. Well, we just came in uh, from Edmonton. Oh. Get them. Uh yeah, it's this is Canada, so maybe it's Canada. I'm pro of this. Although it could it could also be the same name in Germany because I'm pro of that Deutschland. Yes. Uh yeah, the Sarnia. Germans need a good fuel getting it. Yep. So. Oh no, I I do believe it's I do believe they came from Canada. Yeah, let's go. I'm with that. Yeah. I'm good yeah, with that. Yeah, I think we came from. But uh, we uh, actually just got a fumigated up there in New York, so we were thinking uh, <laughs> he's tit for tat. Unfortunately, uh, the way we fumigate in Chicago is a little different. So bend over and spread them. What? We're spraying. Oh, come on there, bud. That's really not necessary. Careful, I'm going to ejaculate. So what? we're What's going on? I'm going to ejaculate in a minute. Uh, so here I am ejaculating. Uh, you say it like that. It's very upsetting. I've got something to say. I'm going to ejaculate. No. On these Sarninians. I'm going to ejaculate <laughs> all over these Sarninians. 200 persons from the infected districts of Germany disembarked from the steamer Kremens at Montreal. And as only 80 persons are now being held at Sarnia, it is feared the others may have made their okay. way so into Okay, so they're this Germans country. through Montreal. Through Sarnia, Ontario. Through Sa- right, right. And, and then down to down America. Down to America, and, then and you that's gotta when gas we double fumigate And they got to fumigate them from the... From the uh, quarantine, which is by the isn't way, scabies. I, and it's by like, the way, I would love to know what they fumigated with back then. Right? Yeah. yeah oh, just like some sort of pro oh. DDT. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Agent Orange. Spray them until there's a new eyeball on them, boys. <laughs> 
I, I definitely now am going to have our booking agents, uh, booking agents book us a show in Sarnia, though. Yeah, yeah. you should. Yeah, yeah. the Chronicles I, of Sarnia. I, well, I'm part of the. I don't know. I mean, you I am part on. of the band. Well, I'm. I, I'm part. You're, of the, you're in. I'm part of the. You're I'm in. part of the state. I'm dancing. You're the six member. Of I dance. I dance on stage. That's the new. That's the new. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The they new, call me Jam of God. Jam of God. Yeah, I'm up there. I do moves. I find it. In the kangaroo costume. Yeah, why yeah. are you so pissed off? Because you're not, not part of the band. I'm not pissed off. All I just think about is that you're kind of... Uh, uh, it's like Stolen Valor, the Mighty Mighty <laughs> Boss Tones guy. Uh, first it's of all, Valor. I base it all on the Prodigy guy. Uh, the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones dancer stole it from the Prodigy guy. The fuck guy. he did. The fuck he did. Boss didn't. Tones was first. Are you out of your fucking mind? The Mighty Mighty Boss Tones What's the Prodigy? next story, you know Dickweed? Back to the Chronicles of Sarnia. <laughs> Luke, can we... He killed two men. Who <laughs> did? That's the headline. Is it? I hope so. A bartender uses his gun with deadly effect. Fuck wow. They should, that, that headline should come back. Uses, yes, I, th- gun I with think so, effect. too. Yeah. Uh, having dated several bartenders <laughs> and seeing what they have gone through, yes. I, I support it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Frank Hook of West Duluth kills Mike Haggerty and mortally wounds Jack Murphy. What is the, the difference? M- what uh, between Jack Murphy and no between Mike killing Haggerty? and killing and mortally wounding? I don't think there's a difference. So why? What's the differentiation? Just one man dead, another man mortally wounded. About to die. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, right. Slower death. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Instant death versus like a bleed out. Um. This is from West Superior. Frank Hook, a bartender, shot and instantly killed Mike Haggerty and mortally. You just did that in the headline. Yeah. They didn't tip them. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And mortally wounded Jack Murphy at West Duluth while in front of a saloon tonight. All had been drinking and quarreling. Murphy was has a thirty-eight caliber ball in the abdomen and cannot live twelve hours. <laughs> well, wow. Then, you know, they, come on. They He's going to die. Yeah, they can't tell that. They barely you know what's happening can. with any medicine. But also, this, th- this is like at a time when look, news does not travel at lightning speed. True. So who knows what time the person oh, yeah, actually he's dead. wrote that story. He's, yeah. done, he's gone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tune in tomorrow to find out if he actually died. And he did. <laughs> Hook escaped. He is supposed to be hiding in the marshes this side of the bay, and the police are looking for him. How long can you hide in marshes? Oh boy, you're just wet. soggy. You're yeah, just it would wet. not be soggy. great. Yeah, it's no gonna, wetsuit. Yeah, no. you're you're not going to last long you're in marshes. You're going to start pruning real soon. Yeah, he's he's fucked. Well, good luck, boys. Yeah, Godspeed. Godspeed, Hook. I also am always so thrown off by when you could like with the laws of shooting people. Feel like you could kind of shoot people. Yeah, sometimes. And then you just yeah. kind of well, you could definitely stand this your time. ground, boy. Yeah, but like if you're a bartender, you'd be like, I had to. Yeah, but I guess the bartender was drunk too. I mean, there was a long time when if your wife cheated with a guy, you could legally kill the guy. I think that should come back. Mm-hmm. I can't take you seriously. You're a kangaroo. Well, this is so fucking ridiculous. I mean, my I've been through. We've been through so much. To be taken seriously. And you just sit here and you just say stuff like that? What was this, 1991? I'm a guest on your show. <laughs> Have some fucking respect. Uh, this is just a want ad. Okay. A what? A want ad. A want ad. Oh. Wanted. Yes. By a girl. Oh, no. Respect. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wanted by a girl bodily autonomy uh, to be able spell- to go to the post office <laughs> without being harassed <laughs> how are you spelling by uh by okay yeah. that's a relief yeah uh by a girl a home with some old childless christian people living in the city scandinavian preferred oh christ <laughs> old wanted childless christians so she <sighs> wants so, so- i know that wanted by a girl a home so this is in a- the city with <laughs> old Swedes? Old yeah, old, old, old Christian Swedes. Swedes. Yeah. 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 That's what we're looking very for. Very specific. Yes. It's a fetish if they're it is very, say, you can find you can find this today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> old I'm looking for old Christian Swede. <laughs> <laughs> old Christ, old Christian Swede meetup. You know? <laughs> DP. Uh, Edward W. 
Bach, the book editor of the Sunday Times, is going to marry the daughter of Lydia Pinkman. Pinkham, sorry. Lydia. Uh, apologies, Lydia. Uh, Lydia. Shout out to the cat, Lydia. But Mr. Bach wishes it understood that he does not marry his mother-in-law nor any of her recipes. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? What? What is happening? I'm gonna marry her publicly. Publicly suggesting. I do not like that. That, that girl. Sh- she is a shit cook. She is a shit cook. <laughs> the paper started off so strong, <laughs> and now it's tweets. He is going to start life for himself and find out what is the matter with the family as he proceeds on the journey. <laughs> Wow. What That's in marriage. the hell is wrong with these people? I must find I'm out. I'm leaving to find out. <laughs> I'm marrying in. I'm going to investigate their culinary disaster of a family unit. I mean, that kind of perfectly describes marriage, though. And what? It really does. You, 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 you get marry, married, you find you out what's, what's wrong, wrong with the family. family. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're just like, oh, shit. And then you start going like, Oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh that tracks. Oh, oh, so he. Okay. That's where that came oh, from. Okay, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Crazy since the cure. <laughs> okay. A the Dwight, band? a Damn. Dwight graduate, attempts to murder an entire. I went family. to Dwight. Did you hear the rest of it? No. Attempts to murder an Why entire. Not? Family. Wait, well, what? you you completely missed the headline because you got you somehow you got. I heard caught the up. I heard the headline. No, you got caught up on Dwight somehow and missed the murder of the family. <laughs> Go ahead, do the murder <laughs> of the family. You, I mean, who gets tripped up on Dwight? Well, he said I graduated from Dwight. <laughs> it sounds like a team you'd find out in March Madness is like, boy, Dwight made it way for nobody had Dwight in their bracket. <laughs> a Dwight graduate attempts to murder an entire family. Charles W. Lewis, a graduate of Dr. Keeley's Institute at Dwight, this afternoon shot at and attempted to kill his wife, baby, and sister-in-law, and then blew out his own brains. Oh, for fuck's sake. His poor aim resulted in his sister-in-law, Mary McGuigan, being only shot in the hand, his wife in the thigh, and his baby unscathed. <laughs> How did you... <laughs> The baby is the easiest. Like, oh man, if you can't shoot a baby, <laughs> like, you don't deserve a gun. You do not, not deserve America. a gun. Well, maybe it was one of those Did, new fast babies. I can't believe he. he yeah, <laughs> I can't believe he even managed to kill himself. I, did he? You missed the baby. Yeah, yeah, he did. So- <laughs> Hold still, baby. Did he think he mortally wounded all of them? He's like, now that I've taken their three lives, I can't do time for this. All right. Well, the baby's fine. I'm hurt a little bit. Um, it's a good thing he's gone. Uh, Lewis has been deranged since he took the cure. The cure for alcoholism. Moderna? Oh. Uh, that's a good question. I it could know. be they they used to give them uh, all sorts of weird shit to treat alcoholism, like belladonna and. Oof. Okay, wait. The cure. Okay. Uh, shock treatments. The cure oh. for uh, impotence. Uh, for impotence. Uh, Your dick don't work. Yeah, you need electricity, we're, boy. <laughs> we're going to shoot we're gonna need, 20,000 volts. 1.21 gigawatts through your dick. You're going to be hard. You're going to be hard, <laughs> boy. shock. Stiff as a board. <laughs> shock. So I can't get hard. Well, what you need is a uh, more electrical current <laughs> running through your body, boy. Uh, That's what you need. Uh, yeah, so this was in the Victorian time. Uh, 10,000 volts. How's it feel now? Uh, yeah, this is this was for uh, masturbation, gonorrhea, sexual excess, and constant so excitement. So the electricity can constant cure most ailments. Of the genital organs. So, so, wait, so you get shock treatment if you get hard too much? Yeah. Now, where are but you? He was impotent. You ain't getting hard? Well, we you getting know. hard too much? Come I, to me. I, I he could have been hard too much. I thought you said he he uh, he received it, the cure for Well, impotent. I'm just saying this, this is considered the cure. Shock oh, treatment's the cure. I thought, actually, he was like... His wife was complaining he couldn't get it up. That's what I uh, thought, maybe, too. One baby. Be, yeah. yeah. So we zapped the shit His out baby of was also complaining he couldn't get it up. <laughs> we shocked him. Some doctors introduced galvanic baths or bathtubs filled, filled with electrodes, which were supposed to yeah. restore sexual desire in just six sessions. Others took an even more <laughs> localized approach. <laughs> Where rods and currents running through them were placed inside the man's urethra. Jesus Christ. Oh. It's not worth it. Oh, no. 
Just be ha- go on hikes. Yes, just be a eunuch. The second Something. that someone is putting an electrical rod up your dick hole. Yeah. I mean, that, that doc, imagine it like that time. Do you know what you're doing? No, not really. Boy, you got a really small piss hole, boy. Let me jam this up here. I mean, get ready. This is going to be the worst thing that ever happens to you. But it's going to get hard after. But You're going to want to shoot your baby. <laughs> <laughs> this was thought to be particularly helpful for those with significant atrophy to the genital area. Oh, you got what we call lazy low. <laughs> lazy low, uh, boy. Fuck me. God there damn it. we go. Worst story ever. All right. Mm. Let me just jam this rod yeah. in your piss hole. I think we're close. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he says yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's do one last one then. Okay. Uh, All right. Are we, yeah? Okay, yeah. Uh, Boy, that is really tough to imagine. Yeah. That's... that's cock shocker. Yeah. <laughs> the cocker, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's brutal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wire up his balls, uh, boy. This just and imagining back then, like that—that that was like fresh out of another guy's dick. There yeah. we go. Sorry, this one's juiced up got, from Lenny. Got a little plus from Lenny. <laughs> Here on we are. This got a little bit of the Lenny juice on it. Don't worry, that's just gonna make it glide in a little easier. No, I don't need to wash it. Now, what do you? <laughs> what's your problem? It's getting too hard or not hard enough. <laughs> don't matter. There you go. More votes. Let me just take your temperature the old-fashioned way, boy. <laughs> There you go. Um, August Strindberg, the Danish poet, is famous for his hatred of women. <laughs> Ima- imagine being famous for hatred of women in this time. Oh, man. Like, you like really other gotta- people being like, look, I, I agree, they, they shouldn't have rights, but chill the fuck out. It's this- aggressive. This aversion seems to be uncontrollable at times and wow. often leads the author into difficulty. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, he must have really been letting it rip. Oh, fuck you, woman. Uh-huh. Sounds like he needs some uh, shock treatment. Yeah, then. I can kill him. <laughs> Not long ago, he happened to meet a lady at a friend's. Fuck you, woman. <laughs> yes. All right. Easy does it now. Well, how dare you All introduce right. me to a woman? Just have some pie. <laughs> Walking around, breathing. <laughs> oh my lord! You have your friends, <laughs> and taking hold of her. Oh no! Th- threw her from the veranda. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? It's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's more coming, so we should probably figure this out pretty quick. He and threw now, her. Uh, I the- will write a eight line. Poetic verse. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, this yeah. has been a really strange hang. Consider the woman. And now my latest poem. She stood a f- fuck woman. She was on Not that kind of fuck woman. What she- rhymes with veranda toss? <laughs> I demand her never to see her again. <laughs> From the her veranda. name was Miranda, and I demand her to throw her out the veranda. Yes. Uh, the poor woman who was injured <laughs> brought suit against the ungallant writer. On what grounds? Un- what, ungallant. Uh, <laughs> Very ungallant. <laughs> what he a threw word. a lady from a veranda. <laughs> yeah. He was condemned to pay the plaintiff 115 golden, golden. and oh, yeah. 200 golden at cost of the proceedings. The case has caused much talk in Germany. <laughs> Yes, of course. Holy yes. fuck. Yeah, he threw a lady. He a threw a veranda. He threw a lady off the veranda. And she was hurt. <laughs> he didn't pay him fine. Well, he does hate women. I mean, he's a poet. Well, yeah, listen. Oh, he's a poet. This is my art. Yeah. You do not understand. <laughs> this is my art. I, this is what I do. I've put a lot of material from this moment. Jesus fuck. Christ. Yeah. Well, shit. That was a workout. There we go. Indeed. Do you have one more small one? No. No. All right. A, okay. Well, it. you can't beat veranda tossing. Veranda's no. away. But that's right. Um, Randy, thanks again. Thank you. This has been the best. Come back whenever. Oh, I will. Whenever you're in town. And uh, lamb-of-god.com for all your tour dates. Correct. Uh, our tour dates. Yes. Um, I misspoke. And, um, and Dave, I think the best way to end this is for you to say something from the heart to our guest. I don't like Gareth. It's a really... Really crazy thing. You had an option yeah. to say anything, and yeah, that's right. to be yeah. that is crazy. Oh, we're bonding. Uh, no, I don't. I don't like this bond. <laughs> uh, well, Randy Jake. Bly, thank you for joining us. 
J Town um, loves you though. J Town loves you. I, again, it's just super weird. J Town loves you. Yeah. Do you guys do you, these, do you guys enjoy my J Town ornaments? Yeah. Oh we, yeah. The fact that you mailed yeah, 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 us yeah. J Town. I did. <laughs> I still have it. It's right out, right, uh, right. Would with you it, ask it, for our address? For right, it's, I was like, I it's right under my computer. Be. It just sits there and and uh, Dave with the holds cake. it up sometimes for I do hold it up during taping and things yeah. like that. So yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, no, we appreciate it very much. Um, all right, well, uh, and excited to read your new book. Yeah, it'll be out soon much. after this comes out. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. all right, God bless everyone. Thank you. <laughs>